All right, welcome back, fellas. Here we are again, back at the Vino Rod. I'll bring you guys over and show you what I'm up to. Here's some uh, finishing up on the uh, bracing of the uh, steering column, which I do believe the steering column is out of a golf cart, possibly. That's what the guy said that gave it to me. Maybe you guys know. Well, what I ended up doing was uh, welding that support piece in right there and then adding this cross brace. To that point there okay so that pretty much finishes up that stuff so I can get to you know cleaning up this rust and uh, putting some uh, rust encapsulator on it and then going ahead and uh, moving on to the next project got a lot of uh, rust to remove so I can hit it with some uh, rust uh, encapsulator. See that area there where I kind of started a little bit. Hit that little area right there. Yeah, I'll finish this whole area up. Get that side done. But yep, that's where I'm at. I don't think I'm going to bring you guys along this trip. It's, uh, it's a dusty highway, fellers. Okay, so I'm going to get to uh, cleaning this up, and then I'll bring you guys back with the finished product. Okay, well, you can see that uh, got a lot of it removed. If you look here, you can see that cross brace right there. I'm going to remove that one. You can see that I removed that one. Okay, well, you know, there's a lot of material still to remove, but I'm going to call this one quits for today as far as removing this, this stuff. I need to get some more material. I've been using this type of uh, disc which works a lot better than a flap disc. But the problem that you have is that mill scale. It, when it heats up, it, it gums up the disc. So it, it makes it, uh, you know, difficult. You know, I've, and I've already burnt up five discs just doing what I've done right here. So I've got to pick up some more material, but... Well, this product here, I'm going to use it with this applicator here, which adds that hose. So I'm going to be able to use that hose and, and put it in areas where I can't reach. Um, with a spray can, like down in this little valley right here. You know, I'll hit that with a fire brush, but I'll use that frame coating. It's an inter, you know, it's a hose. I'll be able to guide that hose, pull that hose along while it's spraying. That's my, my thought. And then I use this urethane seam sealer in areas just to get you know a better 
oh, I don't know, a seal um, to try to keep the oxygen out of areas that I can't get to. And then I'll use this rust encapsulator here to spray all those areas down. So, and then I'll hit it with this rubberized undercoat. So that's the uh, process there I'm going to try to use on this. So, uh, you know, um, I'm going to miss next week because of New Year's. I'm going to be out of town. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a couple weeks. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate the subscribers. And I'll catch you on the next one.